James Turrell, The Art of Light and Space. A quick intro about the artist. He is known as the leader of the light and space movement in the art world. This happened around the 1960s. A quote from The Art Story by James Turrell says, His artwork might be an idea or an experience as opposed to a thing. Turrell transforms light into art by manipulating the viewer's experience of it. So in short, Turrell's work is more of an entire experience rather than just a visual one. This is why it's basically essential to see his work in person, to experience it at its fullest. The creation of an experience. As mentioned before, Terrell is a master in creating an experience. His works revolve around the manipulation of light. As I've observed, this can be done in two ways. First off, by using artificial light, primarily to build false architecture and set a very specific mood or feeling with the color of the light. These are often colors that we don't see in the world normally. This also adds to the sort of out-of-body experience one seems to feel when in a room created by artificial lighting, especially in this magnitude. The second way is by using natural light and letting it puncture and play a part in an artificial or man-made setting, as you can see in the top photo. This showcases natural light in a way that we don't normally see. I feel that the cutouts in the sky can be seen and makes it feel like a surrealist painting almost, but one that you can stand in and experience. Sky spaces. In James Trail's art, color itself is an experience. He lets color play an important role by simplifying the architectural spaces to their basic elements. As I mentioned in the previous slide, Trail uses light from the outside and showcases it in a new way by framing it with man-made cutouts. This natural lighting plays off the artificial lighting in some of these rooms, causing your eye to see hues in a new way. The rooms that have cutouts showing the sky seem as if the sky is being brought down towards you, almost as if you can reach out and touch it. The effects of Terrell's work. Stepping into one of his pieces feels like falling into a neon cloud. Some viewers even have a hard time discerning which way is up or out. These light-filled rooms create shapes of their own, transforming the room completely. All of these elements create a dreamlike aspect. The disorientation combined with the neon colors make one feel like they're lucid dreaming, or perhaps sleepwalking in a world that doesn't seem grounded in reality, but you're actually awake. The power of scale. The scale of Terrell's works makes them all the more powerful. These rooms let you become part of the art, fully experience it in a new way. The large scale emphasizes that his art is centered around you, the viewer. Terrell stated in an interview, my work is not so much about my seeing as it is about your seeing. There is no one between you and your experience. Light as a medium. Trell takes creativity with mediums to a new level. His studio and canvas are the sky, and pure light is his medium. His use of color created by light encourages deep thoughts and often contemplation. The out-of-body experiences one has when viewing Trell's work can propel new thoughts, since one is placed in an entirely new environment where color and light play a powerful role an almost all-consuming one. This simplifies the other elements and creates an interesting environment to contemplate one's thoughts.